Hello students. In this video, we are going to discuss network design methodology of unit 1, applying methodology to network design for the subject enterprise network design of BE 7 semester IT, University of Mumbai. <music> In this lecture, we will cover design as an integral part of PPDIO methodology that is plan, design, implement, operate and optimize, benefit of the life cycle approach to the network design and design methodology. The network design methodology presented here is derived from Cisco prepare, plan, design, implement, operate and optimize methodology, which reflects a network's life cycle. So let us discuss design as an integral part of PPDIOO methodology or P square DIO square network life cycle methodology which is shown here in this figure. It reflects the phases of a standard network's life cycle. So first phase is prepare phase. The prepare phase involves establishing the organizational or business requirement developing a network strategy and proposing a high level conceptual architecture identifying technologies that can best support the architecture financial justification for the network strategy is establishing by assessing the business case for the proposed architecture. Next phase is plan phase. This phase involves identifying the network requirement which are based on the goals for the network where the network will be installed who will require which network services and so forth. The plan phase also involves assessing the site where the network will be installed and any existing network and performing a gap analysis to determine if existing system infrastructure site and operational environment can support the proposed system. The project plan helps manage the task responsibility, critical milestones and resource required to implement the changes to network. The project plan should align with the scope, cost and resource parameters established in the original business requirement. The output of this phase is a set of network requirement. Third is network design, uh, design phase. The initial requirement determined in the plan phase drive the network design specialties activities. These specialties design the network according to those initial requirement incorporating any additional data gathered during network analysis and network audit and through discussion with managers and network users the network design specification that is produced is a comprehensive detailed design that meets current business and technical requirement and incorporates the specification to support availability, reliability, security, scalability, and performance. This design specification provides the basis for the implementation activity. Next phase is implement phase. Implementation and verification begins after the design and has been approved. The network and any additional components are built according to the design specification with the goal integrating devices without disrupting the existing network or creating points of vulnerability. Next phase is operate uh, operate phase. Operation is the final test of the design's appropriateness. The operate phase involves maintaining network health through day-to-day -day operations which might include maintaining high availability and reducing expenses. The fall detection and correction and performance monitoring that occurs in daily operation provide initial data for the network life cycles optimized phase and this is the final phase optimized phase the optimized phase is based on proactive network management the goal of which is to identify and resolve issues before real problems arise and the organization is affected reactive fault decision and corrective or troubleshooting are necessary when proactive management cannot predict the mitigate predict and mitigate the features in p square d i o square process the optimized phase might lead to network redesign if too many network problems or errors arise if performance does not meet expectation or if 
New applications are identified to support organizational and technical requirements. Although design is one of the six PPDIO phase, all the other phases influence design decision and design phase interacts closely with them like the requirement derived from prepare and plan phase are the basis for network design. The implement phase include the initial verification of design on actual network. During the operate and optimize phase, the final decision is made about the approximate appropriateness of the design based on network analysis and any problem that arise. The network might have to be redesigned to correct any discovered errors. What are the key benefits of life cycle approach to network design? Let us discuss further. First benefit is lowering the total cost of network ownership Ident by using identifying and validating technology requirements, planning and infrastructure changes and resource requirement, developing a sound network design aligned with technical requirement and business goals, accelerating successful implementation, improving the efficiency of network and the staff supporting it, reducing operating expenses by improving the efficiency of operation courses and tools. Second benefit is increasing network availability. Assessing the state of networks, security and ability to support the proposed design, specifying the correct set of hardware and software release and keeping them operational and current. Producing a sound operational design and validating network operation, staging and testing the proposed system before deployment, improving the staff skills, proactively monitoring the system and assessing availability trends and alerts, Proactively identifying security breaches and defining remediation plan. Next is improving business agility, establishing business requirement and technology strategies, readying sites to support the system to be implemented, integrating technical requirements and business goal into a detailed design and demonstrating that the network is functioning and specified, expertly installing, configuring and integrating system components and last continually enhancing performance. Fourth benefit is accelerating access to application and services. Assessing and improving operational preparedness to support current and planned network technologies and support. Improving service delivery efficiency and effectively effectiveness by increasing availability, resource, capacity and performance. Improving the availability, reliability and stability of the network and the application running on it. Managing and resolving problems affecting the system and keeping software applications current. Design methodology. What are the advantages of design methodology? So there are uh, first is it ensures that no step is missed when the process is followed. Second, it provides a framework for design process deliverable. It encourages Consistency in the creative process, enabling network designers to set appropriate deadlines and maintaining customers and manager satisfaction. It allows customers and managers to validate that the designers have thought about how to meet their requirements. So the design methodology presented here includes three basic steps like uh, identify, characterize the existing network and site and design. So these are the first three phases of PPDIOO design phase, whereas other steps are related to other PPDIO phases. So first step is identify customer requirements. This is our first step. In this step, which is a typically completed during the PPDIO prepare phase, key decision makers identify the initial requirement based on these requirements a high level conceptual architecture is proposed second step is characterize the existing network and site the plan phase involves characterizing sites and assessing any existing network and performing a gap analysis to determine whether an existing system infrastructure site and operational environment can support the proposed system Characterization of existing network and site includes site, 
and network audit network analysis during the network audit an existing network is thoroughly checked for integrity and quality during the network analysis network behavior traffic congestion and so forth is analyzed and third four phase is design the network topology solution in this particular step the detailed design of the network is created decisions are made about networked infrastructure infrastructure services and application the data for making these decision is gathered during the first two steps a pilot prototype network might be constructed to verify the correctness of design and identify the correct and correct any problems as a proof of concept before implementing the entire network so let us discuss second thing when design is complete uh, completed the design implementation completed this process includes plan and implementation implementation and verify the design and monitor and optionally redesign step so let us discuss step 1 this is plan the implementation during this step the implementation procedures are prepared in advance to expedite and clarify the actual implementation cost assessment is also undertaken at this time this step is performed during a uh, design phase of pp di o o model next step is implement and verify the design the actual implementation and verification of design takes during this step by building a network this step maps directly to implement phase of pp di o o methodology and third step is monitor and optionally redesign the network is put into operational it is built during operation the network is constantly monitored and checked for errors if troubleshooting problems becomes too frequent or even impossible to manage a network redesign might be required this can be avoided if all previous steps have been completed properly this step is in fact a part of operate and optimize phase of p square di o square methodology so with this we finish it in this lecture we have seen design as an integral part of pp di o methodology that is plan design implement operate and optimize benefit of the life cycle approach to network design and design in next lecture we will see identifying customer requirement part 1 thank you very much have a nice day